If you watch the companion videos for chapter 19, this get OS info function might look a little familiar to you. It accepted a computer name from the command line via a parameter. I'm going to modify this so that it accepts it from the pipeline instead. Now to do that, I need to modify the structure of this command this function a little bit by adding these three named script blocks. Whenever this command is executed, I keep calling it a command, it's actually a function, but whenever it's executed as part of a pipeline, here's what will happen. Any code inside the begin script block will execute first. Now, I haven't put any code in there, and, and because I haven't, I can actually delete that line completely. I like to leave it there just to help me recognize this three-part structure, though. After the begin block executes, the process block will execute. It will execute one time for each object that's piped into the function. Each object that's piped into the function will be placed into the special placeholder variable called dollar sign underscore. So the first thing I'm going to do in the script block is copy dollar sign underscore into a computer name variable, mainly because I think computer name is easier to read than dollar sign underscore. I didn't have to do that. I, I could have come down here where I was using computer name and just changed it to use dollar sign underscore, but I'm a big fan of readability. So I like to copy whatever's in here out of there and into a variable that has a more meaningful name. After the process script block has finished executing once for each piped in thing, the end block will execute. So here's how I could use this now. I could say get content c computers.txt and I'm assuming that that's a, a text file that contains one computer name per line. I would then pipe it to get OS info. And actually I could put anything here that generated multiple computer names. For example, um, if I were using the Active Directory module from Windows Server 2008 R2, I could now say get AD computer. Um, let's get all the computers. Let's just grab their name property so that I'm turning the name into a bunch of computer names and pipe that to get dash OS info. Or I could simply provide computer names in a comma separated list and pipe that to get dash OS info. All of these will work. So now I've, I've changed this from a command that it could accept one computer name from a command line parameter into one that can accept multiple computer names. It'll go through them one at a time and run that command for each. Now you might still want to declare some parameters. Uh, let's say that you were going to implement some error handling and one of the things you wanted to do was provide a way for someone to specify the file name that they wanted the error log to go to. So we'll create a parameter called error log. Now we won't give it a default path. Uh, now here's what I would do. I would say dash error log dash error log or dash error log So you can still provide individual parameters. This dollar sign error log will have the same value in the begin, process, and end script block. So it'll be accessible from all of them. Dollar sign underscore is only accessible from the process script block, and it contains whatever was piped in.